a death cult that must be disrupted and degraded. The words used by the Australian Prime Minister to describe Islamic State, also known as ISIS and ISIL. Speaking from Canberra on Friday, Tony Abbott announced that Australia's Air Force will launch airstrikes against IS targets in Iraq. ISIL must be disrupted and degraded at home and abroad, so it is absolutely in Australia's national interests that this mission go ahead. In the meantime, Kurdish fighters have recaptured the northern Iraqi town of Rabia from Islamic State. Here, one of their fighters can be seen climbing a communication tower and throwing IS's flag to the ground. The video was uploaded to a YouTube account associated with the YPG, or Kurdish forces in Syria. Elsewhere, Islamic State on the approach to Kobani. This footage was shared by unofficial Syrian news agency Al Amak on Thursday. It's described as showing Islamic State reaching the gates of the Syrian Kurdish village. Ongoing clashes have caused at least 300,000 Syrian Kurds to flee to neighboring Turkey late last month. That's according to figures from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Many have been sheltering in the Turkish village of Yumatalik. Here, they can be seen scrambling under plastic sheeting as weather conditions worsen. Refugees arrived via the Turkish border town of Suruk, which, according to local news reports, was hit by Islamic State mortars earlier this week. In other developments, a car bomb exploded outside a Syrian rebel group's premises in Irsim village in the Idlib province on Wednesday. The martyrs of Irsim Brigade blame Islamic State for the attack. They claim that the remains of a suicide bomber were found. IS has not commented on the incident.